Hey YouTube, Laser Shooting Robots Return with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Hour of the Shadows review. Not the video game. No, um, this is based off the second movie. If you didn't like the first one, well, too bad, we're getting a sequel. Um, and all the turtles being remodeled. And Shredder is being uh, made younger. Complaints. Oh wait, no. no. And now they're actually in more mutants. And yeah. the ninjas actually look ninjas, not soldiers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, basically it's a reboot. Uh, in a like way, a yeah, like they kind of like they do. They do Unfortunately, of Megan Fox is still there. Hey, it's still Megan Fox, and then she has the obligatory schoolgirl disguise. So this should be good watching. Yeah, but I don't know. I these guys started popping up in toy toy aisles around, the, I guess, Canada um, fairly recently. I guess to kind of after that pesky street they got out of the way. So we got one of the the mutant additions to the show, Rocksteady. Um, Why especially the WWE wrestler Seamus? Whoa, he's all your, one of my favorite favorite wrestlers. To be honest, there we go. Um, so I don't know. I was kind of a sucker. I didn't pick up a lot of the movie line. I think the only one I think I got was April, and I believe um, you bought the shredder. The shredder, and you regret yes, that. That, that was, went their giveaway. Wars. Yes, and our, um, our winner got that. Yeah, he's probably not happy. Turtles, but I the got line... the Raphael. Yeah, the Lions had some pretty bad rumps. But this guy and his cohort, Bebop, kind of caught me. So let's yeah, they're nice figures. Open. And let's get some detail. Honestly, I, I kind of like the mutant thing. And actually, honestly, they actually look pretty good for yeah, playmates. For playmates, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually quite well, surprised. We'll, we'll have a better look when we get them out of the package. Exactly. We'll, have, we'll have a jump cut and see them on the other side. So he's out of the box. Um, by the way, toy companies, anyone who makes these twisties, I hate you. I hate you so much. Thank God for wire cutters, but these are annoying. Anyhow, this is Rocksteady. Um, honestly, if you didn't like the TMNT animated one, um, I hated him because of his articula his really dated articulation. This one actually really makes up for it. Yeah, um, definitely. But on top there. of that, I didn't buy him for the articulation. I bought him for the sculpt. He is yep. detailed. I like all the tattoos and stuff on him. Actually. He does. You know, actually, I'm very human to sell him. Honestly, I'm surprised if he has a tattoo painted uh, on him. Um, I thought there'd be some missing paint. Uh, I can't remember. Onfish? Onfisk? Yeah. Is there supposed to be a letter there? Oh, maybe, or maybe when he mutated, maybe it stretched it out so it doesn't read properly. Is it supposed to be Bonfisk? Yeah. Bonfisk? I, oh, I just no. don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah. But it's actually. I like his teal like he pulled out of his pants. Yeah. Uh, you can see, I think there's a little bit of sculpted waistband for underwear or something. I don't know. No, I think it's a paint bleed. Or just a paint bleed? Oh, okay. I think that's the top of the pants. Okay, just paint why bleed. is Playmates well, all of a sudden like hitting this one out of the park? Um. When the rest of the turtles don't look that great. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the thing. Of course, you know, the obligatory exactly. weapons are one paint sculpt. Ye pretty much. They don't no uh, put the proper no, paint I mean, color. Got a barb at least with that, I guess, you know, barbed wire bat, the barbed wire ain't painted. But you know what? It's but, playmates. We don't yeah, expect you to do it. Exactly. Because, honestly, they kind of the fact he's got the... <laughs> your face is uh, actually sculpted onto the knuckle dusters, and they're actually, you yeah. know, a separate color than the fist. Yeah. They are. Good they thing. Actually, and he's got the backwards R and S on the yeah. um, vest for Rocksteady. And gold chains actually separately painted. Yeah, and it looks good. They could have painted the goggles in a little bit. But, you know, for the mind to actually separately paint on this guy. Yeah. You know, oh, the chain there is separately painted. He's too. got a tattoo here. Yeah. The chain is not separately painted. But, no. you know, but he's got for the mind. camel pants. Yeah. For the might they've actually separately painted on this guy, it's yeah. actually quite surprising. And that's why when I saw him on pegs, I was like, the studs me. here are painted. Yeah. That's not something I'd expect. No. No, uh, you'd think that would be the first thing they'd cut. Yeah, the, they the didn't tan. paint the chains on his wrist, yeah. but, you know, the front might they actually did paint. Yeah. It's surprising. But I do like the sculpt. That is one thing that I really have to say. Like, I don't know whether they used um, digital sculpt, probably. Oh, give me the box. Yeah. But... I want to see a comparison of what they did and didn't paint. Yeah, the yeah. chain was originally painted. This buckle was yeah. originally silver. Yeah. Yeah, the silver was originally painted. The chains were originally painted, and the goggles were gray. Yeah, goggles were gray, yeah. But you know what? It's still actually probably more than what the the animated rocks did. He was missing. Yeah, he was missing uh, nearly everything. He was pretty much missing everything. Um, but the thing that got me is this face. Like he's actually got like a little bit of the yep. face. Um, and the sculpt. Like he's got detailed skin. I mean, yes, you see the discs and it takes away the detail, but it's actually really for weird. how much was the toy? Uh, the with the ten dollar mark. Yeah. Yeah. So for a ten dollar mark, he's actually quite. Well, he's really well painted. For what compared with the rest of the lines commonly brought out. He's actually like the bright shining star, um, you know. When you look at even when you look at even when you look at the prototype, which is the well pinned version of the turtles yeah. on here, take a look. They, yeah. they still don't look that good, but then you get the rocks they appeal on the prototype picture, and they they, they outshine the, other the rest of them. <laughs> so it makes you wonder, like, if they budget like, on, everything. Who wants Pirate Michelangelo movie version? No, no one wants that. I do. Well, you're a weird one. 
But it's also like, there are street stuff with these guys. Paracuts and Michelangelo. Wingsuit Raphael. The best part is those guns aren't going to be in the movie. Tell. There's not, they're not going to be in the movie anyway. Yeah. Just like trench coat Raph. So yeah, which watch. was actually filmed for the movie and it was not even the lead scenes. Yep. Because I did see the pictures of when they were actually filming. So I hope they didn't leave this guy out of the movie. I and, doubt that he's in And honestly, I'm actually looking forward to seeing these guys on the Silver Screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this movie more yeah. than I looked forward to the first one. I know, right? Because you, you have Roxanne and Bebop. And I actually one. kind of... Bebop's awesome. the first one in a really dumb way. In a guilty pleasure way, yes, exactly. it is quite new. I even bought a Blu-ray DVD yeah. comic pack. So, I don't know. So It came with free bandanas. Yeah. So, will he blend in with the rest of your collection? Probably not. He's not going to replace animated, you know, Rocksteady V-cut hips aside. But really, as a standalone, he's great. Yeah, he's good. He's a good little figure. He's, I, he's definitely a good update to Rocksteady. He is. And, you know, yeah, it's Playmates. Joints are a little bit starting to get a little loose this year. But, you know what? I, I don't know. I am in love with this figure. He's definitely a nice figure. Yeah. I like the Mega Block sets for Rocksteady and Bebop. I don't no. like the individual turtles, or even just the turtle sculpts of them alone because they don't have the front shell. Yeah. We'll probably never get those. I'm never, probably not going to buy them, but yeah. no, Maybe these these figures are pretty good. But yeah, but honestly, guys, pick this guy up. I know to have noticed these two when I went initially hunting for them. They were actually the guys that were missing. Yeah, uh, they are. I think a lot of people are buying these guys. I think because they're just kind of like, they're really awesome. Yeah. You know? So, hey, so Playmates, good job. Yeah, if finally, only a good job. You could have done, like, I don't know, Casey Jones better or I think the they Shredder have, better. I think they should have casted Casey Jones okay, better. Okay, so that's a whole different fiasco <laughs> between you and I on that. But still, we're on the right step with this. So, yeah. I guess we'll know when the movie comes out. Um, will we like their characterizations or will they be just horrible, horrible For a trailer, I think the characterizations are good, but it's a trailer and it's the only two of the best parts. Exactly. And, you and in case you want to know about the whole difference in Brandon's opinion, we have, we've got different opinions on a lot of movies, and let's just leave it at that. Yes. That's exactly. why we don't do movie reviews anymore. Yeah. We thought about doing it, but we never, do, we never did. Oh, Hammerfish. Guess we'll be, if we listen to a movie for, uh, review for an hour, it still would not be over. Anyway, so uh, we'll, we got uh, Bebop coming next time. We'll see you again in that video. So have a good one. We'll